Joy Boy is a mysterious figure in the world of One Piece, a popular manga and anime series. For a long time, there was little evidence of Joy Boy's existence. The character was first mentioned in Chapter 628 when Nico Robin reads a message on an ancient stone tablet called the Ryugu Ponglyph. This sparked curiosity among fans about who Joy Boy really was. Later in the story, during the Wayno arc, more information about Joy Boy was revealed. It was suggested that Joy Boy may have been an important historical figure who fought against oppression. Some even believed that Joy Boy was not a specific person but a title given to those who aimed to liberate the world. In Wayno, it was confirmed that Joy Boy was not Luffy, the main character, or his reincarnation. Instead, Joy Boy was associated with the power of the Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika, a mythical Zoan-type devil fruit. This fruit grants its user unparalleled freedom and is connected to the idea of liberation. The story also introduced Zunesha, a giant elephant-like creature who claimed that Joy Boy had returned. This declaration coincided with Luffy's heartbeat and his awakening of his devil fruit powers. It was revealed that Luffy's devil fruit was not the Gomu Gomu no Mi, as previously thought, but the Hito Hito no Mi, model Nika. This information sheds light on two important aspects of the One Piece lore. Firstly, Joy Boy is not a specific person, but a title given to those who possess the power to liberate the world. Secondly, the ancient Joy Boy had the same devil fruit power as Luffy, indicating a connection between them. The revelation about Joy Boy adds depth to the story and reinforces the theme of inherited will. While Luffy is not the reincarnation of Joy Boy, his actions carry on the will of Joy Boy and the ideals of freedom. It is likely that in the final saga of One Piece, more will be revealed about Joy Boy's past and his connection to the world government.